What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite mother and daughter duo. I'm Spirit, the mother, of course. And Unique, the daughter. And today we'll be talking about stress, ways to avoid stress. I'm going to tell you the two main important stress and some more good stuff. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe, and press that bell notification button. Ding! And we're going to get right into it. Okay, I'm going to give y'all the tool of the day. Smile, stress less, and have confidence in all that you do. Okay? All right, and I'm going to give you guys the tip of the day, which is you have to drop your feelings at that moment, and that is when real faith kicks in. Okay, guys, so we're going to get right into it. Stress is an everyday cause. Many things can cause stress like illnesses, injuries, death, financial problems, emotional problems, and just any daily problems, you know, that you might have. Life. <laughs> the effects of stress is acne, which spreads bacteria in your face, headaches and neck problems, chronic pain, which increases any illness of your body, also frequent sicknesses, and that happens by an increase in an infection, which goes to your immune system, which makes you sick, get a cold or anything like that. Also, your sexual drive, rapid heartbeat, which is not good if you have high blood pressure or not good at all, because who wants to just have their heart beating all the time, you know? All and pressure. it's supposed to go at a certain pace, so it won't overload anyway. Right. Also, it has effect on your brain, which is a shrinking effect that gives you memory loss in learning. It also is inflammation which causes heart problems. So now ways to avoid stress is you can sleep which gives your body downtime to relax. If you're sleeping you can't stress or overthink situations or anything you may be going through. Also relax time and some examples are lighting candles, taking baths, listening to calm music also you can pray about it prayer always helps yes it does breathing counting to seven in and out breaths not heavily breaths you know just in through your nose out through your mouth and in through to your seven. mouth out through your nose one of them. <laughs> also talking to someone reducing caffeine take coffee sugar all that stuff. sodas and sunlight. All right, now I'm gonna tell you guys about the two types of stress. There is chronic stress and there is an acute stress. And the chronic stress is stress that is exposed over time. So that's like, you know, just periods of stress that you've been going through a lot. And that consists in depression and anxiety. Now, the acute stress is short-term stress problems. Like, you know, something may happen and you stress about it. And that will cause physical problems with your body and things like that. Now, some things to avoid stress. You can do water with lemon. You can do eggs, garlic, which you can put in your tea, oranges, yogurt, grapefruit, sage. You can burn it around your house for the energy you know, to calm you down. And it helps bacteria, airborne bacteria in your house. It kills 99.9% .9 of airborne bacteria in your house, Sage So you're getting a two for one deal. Sage is good. Also, during a time that you might be stressed, you can um, heat up you some warm oatmeal. And what that does is, is cut levels of adrenaline, 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 which is, um, it takes a toll over a period of time. Your hormones take a toll a period over time if your drilling is up and running and you know all over the place. Also, you can do lemon balm, and then you can do valerian, which is an herb, and I'm gonna tell you guys about that. Also, sugar and alcohol make your stress levels go up so make sure you stay away from things like that now the valerian herb comes from asia and europe and the only thing about this herb is it has a sleeping effect which is not too bad because like i said before if you're sleeping 
you your brain is not running all through and you're not stressing out all right and the valerian contains compounds like anticodons that reduces anxiety in your body now a way to grow this is you can either plant it or you can seed it the easier way is to seed it and you can use sow seeds and you have to keep it moist keep it in warm areas and what will happen is the main plant will die and then there will be another plant and that plant helps the plants to keep growing it'll take seven to uh, seven to 21 days to grow and it doesn't need a lot of sun so you just put it in a warm place and it's good you don't have to sit outside or nothing like that that means it can be in your house that's a good mm -hmm. one now the taking process you can soak two to three grams of the roots and put it in a cup of hot water for 10 to 15 minutes before you go to bed and you drink it and that'll reduce your stress levels you cannot just eat the roots because it is too strong to eat. You can't eat it, it's just too strong. Also, the shawmel, I'm sorry y'all, I don't know how to say this one. The, I think it's called shamali, shamal. It's a herb, it's a flower and herb that looks similar to a daisy. Y'all can look that up. And uh, that also cures cancer and diabetes in your body it reduces menstrual pains it reduces inflammation and two types of charlemagne i'm just say c the c herb is roman and german but the herb is spelled c h a m o m what is that i i l so c h a m o m i L E. Okay. And you can take one or two cups of that each daily, and that'll also help your stress levels go down. Also, this um, herb has a compound which treats cold symptoms. Like if you're having a fever or anything, you put that in some tea, it'll help your fever go down and have any kind of cold you got go down. You can take this to a tea, a tablet, and they have a skin cream. So maybe if you go in the store and you look in creams and you see this herb on there, that can help your stress levels also. And you can plant that by um, putting it into a cool climate. It needs dry soil. It doesn't need much fertilizer because the fertilizer weakens the plant. Fertilizing the water weakens the plant. And it needs very little care. You don't have to water it every day and stuff like that. You can just put it into a cold environment and leave it alone. And just to add a little bit to that, um, lavender helps too. Mints help mm -hmm. as well. Also, um, another easy way to relieve stress is brightening up your environment, brightening up your house, you know, wearing bright colors, putting bright things around you. Also, keeping positivity around you. You can put some sticky notes somewhere, you know, say positive things when you wake up in the morning and things like that. Socializing more, mm -hmm. talking to people. Yeah. Picking up a hobby too. Picking yeah. up a hobby too. Because you need to keep your mm -hmm. mind busy and it does not need to be on the problem that's going on at that, at that point in time. All right. And so I hope this helped you guys who may be going through stress or anything. Just take it in, do some research. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend to tell their mama to come subscribe to this channel because we're looking healthy over here, baby. See you next time.